is the Frankenstein craft and write. So this is the craft portion of it. And at the end of the video, I'll show you the writing pages that are included as it is both a craft and a writing resource complete with all your templates, your assessment, your rubric, um, all your writing pages, including the planning pages and writing templates and prompts for various um, writing skill levels and ages for both um, nonfiction and fiction. So all on the theme of Frankenstein. So we're gonna take a look at all the pages. So these are the craft templates. You're gonna start off with your Frankenstein face. So let's create our Frankenstein. So we got our headpiece, our mouth, our head, sorry, our hair and our two mouths, some eye options and some bits and pieces for decorating. So if you have a classroom, you can just cut these into strips and then put a couple of each table. Same with these, cut this into pieces and then put a couple at each table and then you're good to go. We're gonna start off with Frankenstein. We're gonna use our pick a pattern page that's included to pick patterns, one from each row, and we're gonna use those to add designs to Frankenstein using your choice of art um, making mediums. I'm gonna be using wax crayons and watercolor paints today to create a wax res resist effect, but again, you can use whatever you want. I'm gonna split mine down the middle and then I'll use the neck as well as a, for a space. But you can use or divide up your page however you feel. And we're gonna add some line and pattern using whatever art making mediums you want, however you would like to do it. It's just about having a little bit of fun. And this is a great way to incorporate an art element into your design as well. So we have a little bit of experimentation and opportunity for some creative thinking. Kids really have a little bit of choice in this. How are you gonna add these three patterns? Where are you gonna put it? And really get into that Halloween spirit in a really unique way. Okay, I have one more to do. I'm gonna color in my eyebrows nice and black. And maybe I can even use this wax crayon to shade in the darker areas of my ears. And of course you guys can let your students do this in however you want. Add a bit of shading around the nose. Maybe around where the eye sockets will be once I add my eyes on top. You can make this as complicated or as simple as you would like. That is the beauty of it. You can really have a bit of fun. A little bit of shading, get that nice carved out jawline. Right, Frankenstein? <laughs> All right, now we're gonna add some paint. And I'm just using watercolor paints, but you can always use Tempera paint pucks, especially if you have kindergarten, those are beautiful to use, temp, uh, tempera paint pucks. Or I even sometimes just water down my liquid tempera paint, and that gives you the same effect also. So if you don't have watercolor paints, and you don't have it, your school has liquid tempera paints, just go get, use that. That's perfectly fine. Water it down. I'm gonna switch to this lighter green. Oh my Frankenstein. I think I like this lighter green. <laughs> Maybe I can just add some yellow. If you don't have a lighter green, just add a bit of yellow to your green and that's gonna lighten it up into a lime green. And as we paint, 
that wax crayon is going to do a lovely job at resisting all the paint. So you'll still see all those great lines that we've added for some cool decor and texture. I mean, this is not a typical craft, is it? It's had a little bit more going on. Gotta make it real fun and successful for kids. Okay, we're gonna let that set, set that to the side, let it dry, and we're gonna cut some things out. I need some eyes. So you can pick whatever eyes you want for your Frankenstein. It's up to you which ones you want to use. You can pick and see, okay, well, which style am I gonna go for? I think I'm gonna go with these ones, but you can pick whatever ones you want. That's the fun thing about it. You also get two different mouths to pick from, which means that all the students are gonna have something a little bit different, a little bit different at the end of it. They're all gonna have a unique craft. It's not gonna look like a wall display of the exact same thing. They're all gonna come out a little bit different. And they have creative writing components or nonfiction or fiction writing components. I even have an opinion writing in there to choose from. And as a teacher, you can decide how many or how few writing activities you're gonna do. You can do all of them, you can do one of them. I even included an about Frankenstein page so kids can learn about Frankenstein before they create. And that's gonna really help them hook them on learning and give them a little bit of background because sometimes maybe we don't know where the story of Frankenstein actually came from. All right, so then we can cut out some bits and pieces that we want to use to sort of decorate our Frankenstein. And again, I would just put a couple of pages of these at each table, just pre-chop them up with those like guillotine cutters, like the classroom shop chop chop things. I don't actually know what that's called, to be honest. I don't even know if the guillotine word's the right one. Anyways, if you know, let me know. They are my favorite cutters. That's one thing I miss. I had a class at school that had a really, really good one. And the one first school, a couple schools I worked at didn't have them, or they were not so great. And then the last school had, I was at had Huge one, huge one, very old school, and I loved it, it was so awesome. Okay, then I gotta pick a mouth. I think I'm gonna do this mouth. It's kind of fun, isn't it? They are both cute. And if you're wondering what this part is, this is the hair. So we're gonna cut the hair out. That. Not too many pieces. And then we got an extra mouth, which could be shared amongst a couple students. Okay, we gotta add a little bit of color to our pieces here.
We got all our little pieces. So I'm gonna grab Frankenstein, cut out my face. It's a little bit wet still, so you can tell it's a little bit fragile while I'm holding it, but that's okay. It'll get there eventually, and plus, I mean, I don't think you wanna wash my paper dry, to be honest. So we can imagine. Now this is a perfectly dry situation. But you know what? Well, I know that it's gonna be good enough to show you how this gets done. So you have a good idea of what this is like and how it goes together before you dive in on this resource. do have these crafting rights for all the holidays and seasons so if you're looking for more and you really like one of them I do have a bunch of different kinds for all the holidays and seasons and you can find them in the Ms. Artastic Teachers Pay Teacher Store on the uh, left hand side of the page when you go to my store on the desktop site you'll see that there is a category section if you scroll down to craft and rights then you can find all the craft and rights in one spot all right, I'm gonna add a bit of glue to the top of the head here. Whoop. Isn't that fun? Okay. Then I can place my hair on. Whoop. There we go. Got a little bit of hair happening. Isn't that cool? All right, now this is where it's gonna come alive. We gotta put some eyes on, a mouth. Boom, look at that. Suddenly this is looking more like an artwork, less like a craft, but it's something that can be easily done nice and quick. You don't have to panic. You have a PowerPoint presentation that is included in the resource, so you don't even have to do the demonstration yourself. You can literally show a slideshow of how to do it and kids will be able to do it on their own or if you need to leave it for a sub. This is so easy as a sub plan because it's an educator guide, it has all the worksheets, it has the PowerPoint. There's literally everything done for you, so it's super no prep. Okay, we got mouth put on there, look at that. And of course, because everybody picks different features, they'll all be a little bit different. And then they can put their fun little bits and pieces on that they selected and put those anywhere they want make this so fun and friendly. They can add as many or as little as they would like. Got a little worm here. Where should the worm come? Look at his face. Perfect. And just like that, your lovely Frankenstein is Done. Lesson plans included, standards included. We got the warm up drawing challenge, which you're all about Frankenstein. We got some rubrics, writing your feedback. You got an example and guide for your educator for a sub. Of course, you got templates. And you got planning pages and writing pages of variety for um, both fiction and fiction writing, different styles, different prompts, lots to choose from, so you are good to go as a teacher for some easy prep.